Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia and in today's video we are going to be doing an unboxing of my Ulta package. I got this several days ago and I haven't had a chance to open it up. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then stay tuned. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys got. And also shout out to my skincare junkies. If you are a skincare junkie, please give this video a thumbs up because I want to hear from you guys because I honestly need to talk about skincare more on my channel. Shout out to my girl Jen. She always keeps me in the loop. I haven't been that involved in the skincare community since I love Sephora some almost two years ago so I'm kind of like where am I what do I need what do I need and I always think I need everything the thing we got is the natural moisturizing factors plus HA HA from the ordinary is this is this an oil because I pray to God this is not okay it's a moisturizer all right so I had this moisturizer from the ordinary at this point it's gotta be at least three years and when I ordered it it was from ASOS and it was so long ago that I knew I liked it but it was a, it was small because this one looks bigger yes yeah, so this is the full size let's come on all right so this is the full size this is clearly gonna last me the funny thing about this is how much was this moisturizer so it doesn't say how much it is, but I'll put it on the screen. I know when I ordered it from ASOS, it was not this size. It was probably half this, and I used it very quickly. I really wanted a simple moisturizer. At this point, I don't like the moisturizer that I'm using. It's not that it's irritated my skin. It hasn't done anything at all. Like, it's it's very simple and basic. And for the price that I paid for it, I'm like, I could have just, like, gotten something else. So if I'm going to do basic, especially with my oily combination, I have a little bit of everything. My skin's not always 100% the same thing all the time but majority of the time it's combination I literally get dry really crazy around my cheek area and my chin gets oily and of course my t-zone so I have a little bit of everything this was just a simple moisturizer that I've been wanting to repurchase for quite some time um, it says it has amino acids dermolipids and hyaluronic acid you can never go wrong with hyaluronic acid I prefer hyaluronic acid in other products as opposed to just buying I will never buy it. I don't know what it is but I just don't have the patience to add it in because I like other things to add in moisture but if hyaluronic is gonna be in something I just prefer that it be in a moisturizer or some sort some sort of serum to just speed up the hydration process because your girl does not have time for like seven to ten seven to ten steps it's just it ain't never gonna be me and I think that so far my skin is looking pretty so it's a topical powder and this is again from the ordinary let's open this bad bubba I have never seen this from the ordinary I don't know if this is like a new product it seemed like it had did I drop some? so it comes with the world's tiniest spoon I feel like this is what coke heads use to do coke this little tiny thing and it says you mix a quarter scoop of the spoon of the spoon provided with water-based treatment so it's a powder um why did i buy this <laughs> okay i think it was only like 12 or 13 bucks i will put the price right up here um it says that it's you can use this in the morning or the evening Honestly, guys, I don't even know why I bought this, but I know that this is supposed to help with oily. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so funny. I ordered Ariana Grande's um, perfume. I haven't purchased perfume in so long. Um, my brother actually gave me a gift card for Sephora, and I was going to buy perfume, but I figured since I need to spend $50, why not spend some more money? <laughs> Gosh, I really need to stop. I'm moving soon, and I'm acting like... No, I'm acting like I deserve everything. Treat yourself, sis. So, the funny thing about this perfume is... Okay, one of my close friends, Jen, if you're watching this, um, used to work at this really nice perfume company. She's skilled at knowing fragrances and stuff. And she sent me a TikTok video way before I got on... Also, I'm on TikTok, guys. If you want to see my page, then I'll post it right here. Um, she... Ooh, I can smell it already. It's so sexy. She sends me a video of a girl comparing the most popular brands, the one that she worked for, and then the most infamous Baccarat 540 and a bunch of other perfumes and trying to find their dupe. And everyone's been saying for months and months, probably almost a year, that the Ariana Grande one, oh my God, I'm getting chills, um, is... Um, the cloud one is a dupe even though the funniest thing is that I've never smelled this perfume before and I was like well I'm just gonna get it so I got the travel one and before oh my god before I even as soon as I took the plastic off of this box I could smell it and it's giving me chills how oh my god this is sexy 
Ari. Don't make me do 34 plus 35. Oh my God, this is, I just turned myself on. Ari, you might have gotten a customer. Ariana Grande, you might have gotten a little customer. Oh my God, this is, this is filthy. This is, ooh, I'm like getting chills. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what Baccarat smells like, but if it smells like this and it costs that much money, shit. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the pattern. And then the funny, the thing is I had my hair out. It's clearly braided, which this won't last me but more than a month. So I will be able to test and try this out. But I got the pattern. It's the Hydrating Mist. It's to revive and replenish. I bought this because I needed like a second day hair kind of um, thing. Oh, it's got avocado oil in it, which I really like. So it says it's great for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. Um, it is a spritz to rehydrate, wash and goes, or use to refresh your hairstyle. I needed something like this because I have something, but I'm not the biggest fan of it because it has a thicker texture. And I feel like when my my hair once when I had my hair blow blow dried out by myself, I blow dried my hair before I got my hair braided, and I noticed that the front of my my like my was the crown. It's much longer, and then the middle it's a little bit shorter, and the other one, and down the back is a little. It's it's getting there. I feel like by the time I take this braids out, they're gonna be long enough for me to do like bantu knots or some sort of twist out. And whenever I start doing twist outs, right, I feel like no matter if I put a wrap on it, a satin bonnet, a silk bonnet, silk sheets, whatever, my hair kind of gets just it's just naturally dry, and. Um, it doesn't always need a wash and set kind of thing, but sometimes it just needs a little bit of TLC. And I wanted to get something that was made for coily texture, which is pretty much what I have. I do want to incorporate more hairstyle stuff in there, but your girl loves to have her hair braided. It's the middle of winter. I'm not trying to do my hair for the next month. This is it's like not even... I can't stop. The next thing I got was this Morphe spray because I honestly... I don't think there's anything else in the game that's better. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury one, which I really like, but I don't like it to complete my makeup. I realized that it kind of just makes me super dewy. So like if I get too crazy on the matte side, I was using it to like tone it down and make my skin more like, um, I don't know. I just want it to look more. I like when makeup looks a little bit of skin, but you can still tell that there's makeup. And I found that this was the only thing that seems to help with that. Um, I don't I feel like anything on the market really like hits like that. And I want to get the Scandinavia one because it's pretty much the same thing that's on the market for Urban Decay. And I just haven't purchased it yet. So I was like, let me just get this. I feel like this is a number one stable item in the makeup community that we know is always going to work. Um, it has that nice like mist on it. I had this before, but I don't know. Thing I got this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the NYX Butter, uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in um, the color London. I like this as a nude. I've been needing a nude nude one that I can replace my Kat Von D one because the Kat Von D one, I just feel like the Kat Von D. Um, kind of like it dries out and I've been I'm right now I'm wearing your girl loves nudes you guys know that if you're watching my channel for quite some time you know I'm obsessed with nudes to the point that I, I have colorful lipstick and I just I'm just gonna wear a nude because I'm 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 a basic bitch and I'm okay with that <laughs> but I like nudes and I wanted to find a nude that was more on like the brown side but a lot of times what works for my lips because they're already so pink and then it's like darker around is to find a gray because your lips just need to like they need to you gotta learn you gotta learn color theory essentially when it comes to your lips because a lot of the nudes that are out on the market are geared towards fair skinned women aka white women who have pink lips so they can go and grab a traditional brown and it look like a nude on them whereas we go and grab a pink or a brown or a nude and it just doesn't ever match and that's why we have to use liners so this was just always a good dupe I haven't actually had this in probably five years at some point when I was cleaning out my makeup kit I just got rid of a bunch of shit and when I move next month I promise you things are getting it things are going so I got the glass skin. This is peach and lily glass skin refining serum luminous and translucent peach extract and peptide complex The number one reason that I purchased this is because I know that peptides are really good for your skin And one of my good friends as Jen as I mentioned multiple times pointing this and so we both got it 
Um, I know she got two and then she got like a little sample. I'm actually curious if she if she liked it yet. But then I got annoyed because I got on TikTok and obviously TikTok and just like anything on the internet, there's a bunch of information out there. And I was disappointed because an actual dermatologist, the dermatologist reviewed this 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 serum on his face but he had like a whole skin recognition system to evaluate if this was working on his skin but then in the comment section everybody was like well it does really work i really want to have my own experience i'm hard-headed i gotta learn the hard way i don't have to be this way but i was really excited to try this um but he definitely ruined it for me so I got this half price. This is $39 and it's usually uh, so it's usually $39, but I got it for $19.50. I'm undecided. I mean I definitely have like 30 or 60 days to return everything, but um, I really needed a serum. What I really liked about it is that it's toxin free, it's cruelty free, and doesn't have any like, you know, any like weird ingredients that we don't know about. And the peptides is really what caught me onto it. But it's been, it was 50-50 in the comment section of people saying that it's not good versus it being good. And I hope that TikTok is not ruining my experience. So they gave me my Polo Ralph Lauren Blue. I, eventually when I see my brother, I'll give him this. And then they gave me John Baratos XX. Never heard of him. Just kidding, I have. <laughs> and then it's La V Es Belle. This is from Lancome, which I've heard really good things about. And then I got Valentino. Weird things are going on outside. Umo, U-O-M-O, -O, born in Roma. Um, also, I really like that they gave me like a pack of, uh, okay, I like, I actually, so this is funny, they gave me the Viva La Juicy, like some perfumes, and I need to just learn about perfumes because that's like my favorite thing right now, is that they have a different, like, I don't know how to explain it. I wish like I had better words, but it just like changes your whole like, what did I say, chemical compound, whatever. And then the last thing they gave me was Versace, Versace, Versace Eros Poor Femme. Okay, so I'm actually kind of impressed with this little, Sephora needs to step their game up. I'm gonna tell you something really quick. I'm, Sephora's point system obviously is better. It doesn't expire, you can use it whenever you want, and they constantly have a rotation of these little like mini things, right? Like you can go to the store once a month and just switch out and try things, and I think that's actually, as much as we drag Sephora, I think it's an actually better thing to do because like if you want to try a brand and you've never heard of them without really fully commit 100 points will get you their serum their moisturizer whatever as long as it's available and then you'll be able to buy without having to return and going back and forth but Ulta honestly has the game unlocked this is this is six six samples like Sephora will send me like one or two and you got to choose and that's it like it was nice that they sent me a little pack and um, I fuck with them for that. The only thing I don't like about Ulta is that your points expire. So it's like, what about the girl who just doesn't have time to be at Ulta every week? You're telling me in six months or even less than six months, my shit's gonna expire? Mm-mm, it's dead for that. I'm not really a fan of that. So, you know if you guys purchased anything from the skincare event during the last four weeks, and I will see you guys next time for my next video. Bye-bye.